Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. Today is the finale and also the restart of Hashtag Beauty Chest. Hashtag Beauty Chest was created by Jessica, I have her linked down below, as well as all of the prompts and the rules for this project. And today is going to be the finale and I'm also going to do a restart right away instead of giving that its own video. I feel like it could be in one video. So we are going to check out what products I was still working on and then we're going to do a complete refresh for this new um, year of this project. It's kind of weird to say that because it's still October but for the new year. So I was still working on one item from a prompt that had three items. <laughs> that was makeup inventory, your top three categories. I was still working on the purple extreme tattoo gel liner from Flormar. I still had to use this three times and I did that. So this is completed. I really enjoyed this pencil. It's good for a waterline or on my uh, upper lash, li lash line and it's it's like a slightly um shimmery metal i don't know i don't know what to call it it's not a matte purple liner that's what i'm trying to say anyway i enjoyed this i had to use it 10 times um total and i did that so that was completed and then all my other prompts rolled in last time. I did not do big goals because I just wanted to be able to complete all of these before the new round. So we had broken packaging. Oh, I don't know if that was the prompt or, or what. But I rolled in my Unicorn Heart Rainbow Highlighter from Makeup Revolution because this is loose <laughs> in the box. Um, I did 10 uses on this, which I surpassed actually. I used it a couple of times as a face highlight, but mostly I dipped into this uh, section here between the pink and yellow to do in our corner highlight. So there's that. <clears throat> then I had makeup therapy, something that makes you happy. Um, I went to complete No Palette Behind on the squad. Now this is currently my project level up so I'm not going to show you what it looks like because I still have to film that uh, update so I don't want to spoil anything. But this squad I used the four shadows. It was very easy to go honestly uh, but I did No Palette Left Behind on that. So that made me happy that I completed No Palette Left Behind on that. So that's why I rolled in four. This prompt, <clears throat> I'm skipping over one, don't I? Yeah, there was another product that was in the makeup inventory prompt. So from my top three categories, I had a palette rolled in. I rolled in the ColourPop Sweet Talk palette and I will put up a picture of what that looks like because I've since gone through all of my ColourPop shadows and I've been decluttering some. That video is coming up too. Don't know when exactly. I still have to edit that completely. Um, but that palette has completely been deconstructed. I only needed to use the gold glitter out of that palette and I did that. I've kept the gold glitter. Slight spoiler there. I really enjoy that. I love doing um, cute hairstyles with glitters in them. I know someone asked to maybe do a video one day while I w was wearing one of those hairstyles and I will definitely do that but I'll have to plan when I will do that because well I was gonna say because sometimes I do have to go outside after filming but who cares why shouldn't I wear glittery hair every day anyway that's beside the point so that one was completed too and then the last one was Brands collab, create a color story. Now I loved this. So I created my own little palette to do no pen left behind on. So no big goals again, but uh, here is my palette. So there's a lot of color pop shadows. Uh, the smaller pens, these ones are color pop. These are Beauty Bay. Uh, this is a Glam Shop one. And then these two bigger ones are Zueva. 
um that video should be live right now i've depotted my Zueva palettes so if you want to go check that out i will link it for you guys uh yeah i loved these shadows i love the warm tones for fall looks and also the berry tones surprisingly i really like them so there's that i completed that so that means we completed everything i am gonna roll how many problems did we work on at a time four um um, 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 let me check real quick. Yeah, four prompts. So I'm gonna roll three. I was gonna say three, four prompts, and then we are gonna pick some products. So, Sephora VIB, most expensive. Okay, I'm mm, gonna have to think about that. Indie, unique to your collection. Fifteen percent off. Roll again. Okay, roll again. New connect collection, never slash least used. Oh, I do have some items for that. And then the final one. Use your makeup, common product. Okay, there's a lot of new ones that I've never had in the first two rounds, which is exciting. I'm gonna find my products and I will be right back. I, I may be setting myself up for failure big time with all of these products, but it is what it is. <laughs> we are gonna check them out. So, Sephora VIB, most expensive. I'm rolling in my give me glow summer vibes palette because i think this is my most expensive palette that i have in my collection not really sure don't know how to, i'm gonna check it but this is what it looks like and i'm gonna put a 10 use goal on this palette doesn't matter what shadow i will use honestly possibly will be one of the uh, shimmery browns because i love those um, but 10 uses on this palette. I think I'm going to work with a lot of usage goals for this project for this year. <clears throat> I hope you don't mind. The next indie, unique to your collection. Now, I don't know why I'm picking this, but here we go. I am rolling in the Makeup Revolution lipstick from the Shrek collection. And this is the Gingerbread Man one. This is a bright orange lipstick and I have nothing like it in my collection. I have some reds, I have some nudes, but I don't have oranges. So this is the only orange uh, lipstick I have in my collection. So that's why I can use it for this prompt. I'm gonna put, I was gonna say 10 use to keep on theme, but I feel like that's a lot. So I'm gonna put five uses on this. Because for the next prompt, <laughs> I also have lipsticks. Um, new collection, never slash least used. These are never used. These are two of the Glam Light lipsticks from the Scooby-Doo Halloween collection. I have Ruh Row and Jeepers. And I've never used them. I really wanted them. This is the first. They're sort of matte lipsticks. I don't know if you can see. And they have like little spiders on them. Which is very cute. Don't fall. Thank you. I'm going to show you. Oh, the sunshine. Oh, maybe the sunshine will work. Do you see the spiders? Anyway. I've never used this shade. This is a scary shade for me. I don't even know how it's going to look on me. Honestly, like nude lipsticks always scare me. Don't ask me why I bought this one. And then this is Cheapers. So this is more of a pinky brown nude. I don't know. No idea. Never used it. So I'm going to put five uses on both of these so each of them use them five times bear with me i don't know if i can do it and then the last prompt use your makeup um common product 
I'm gonna roll in a cream colored eyeshadow. I happen to have three in this palette right here. These three are from uh, Zueva. Like I said, I depotted those palettes. Um, and I'm gonna use, I'm gonna put a 10 use goal on either of these, doesn't really matter, because I have so many cream colored eyeshadows in my collection. It's a very common product. I think everyone has one or two or maybe 20 in their collection because a lot of palettes put one in a palette. They're good to have, don't get me wrong, but I'm like drowning in cream colored eyeshadows. So I'm gonna put a 10 use goal on any cream colored eyeshadow. Honestly, it's probably gonna be one of these three and I'm thinking the lightest one will work the best right now or maybe the second lightest one but it doesn't really matter. I will report back at you when I've used one of these 10 times. And then that is it for the new round. I'm very excited to continue this project. I really like this project. I hope you do too. If you want to join us, go ahead. I can only highly suggest you do so. Uh, like I said, everything you need to know is linked down below, as well as Jessica. Please be sure to check her out if you haven't already. And with that, I'm gonna go. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will hopefully see you in one of my next ones. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.